STLG Export Wheel Loader and Reassembly Operation Guide, Three Ton Series. Unpacking check-in. After opening the container, firstly check to see if the complete machine, cap, and parts are intact. In event of having damage or missing item, take photos immediately within the container and immediately feed the information back to the import and export company. Unpacking procedures for parts within container. Cabin unpacking. Remove the fastening tensioners of the cap and hoist the cap out of the container with forklift. Bucket and parts unpacking. Remove the fastening wood wedges of bucket. Hand hoisting sling onto the forks of the forklift and hoist the bucket out of the container. Drive out of complete machine from container. Loosen four fastening lockers of the complete machine. Connect the negative wire. Turn on the power supply of the complete machine and drive the complete machine out of the container. Parts check-in. Recheck the complete machine, cap and bucket are in good condition after taking out of the container and get ready for the next assembly of complete machine. Reassembly of parts Reassembly of muffler exhaust pipe Open the side door of engine hood and fix the muffler exhaust pipe onto the muffler with the clamps. Reassembly of left and right mudguard bushes. Disassemble three bolts between the front frame and right front fender. Unpack the right front fender and fix with three bolts disassembled. Use the same way to fix the left front fender. Reassembly of left and right front combination lamps. Loosen the bolts between the front combination lamp and holder. Rotate the front combination lap outward in the right place. Fix them with bolts. Bolts position map for LG936L standard cabin and ROPS and FOPS cabin. Total 10 bolts for 936L standard cab. For 936L, ROPS and FOPS cab. The yellow ones are bolts to be fastened from bottom to top, and the green ones are the bolts fastened from top to bottom. Disassemble the bolts as per the order shown in the figure. Loosen the fastening tensioners of evaporator. Loosen the fastening tensioners of evaporator. Reassembly of cap. Disassemble the surrounding bolts of the cap bench. Connect four fixed positions on the top of the cab and hoist down the cab with overhead traveling crane. Remove the protective wood plate. Place the cab onto the bench and align the shredded holes. Install the 10 bolts inside the cab. Tighten the fastening bolts between cab and bench with pneumatic wrench and sockets 15 and 21. 
Install back the cap interior trim panel to original position. Use new split pins to fix the outer cap interior trim parts of the connecting bolts of cap and bench. Reassembly of air conditioner evaporator. Fix the evaporator onto the cap with bolts. Fix the evaporator air pipe onto the evaporator. Connect the harness connectors of evaporator with the corresponding harness connectors of thermostat switch and instrument board. Reassembly of evaporator cover. Fix manually the evaporator cover onto the cap with bolts. Reassembly of harness connectors of cap and instrument board. Connect the cap harness connector with the corresponding harness connector of the instrument board. Fix at appropriate locations with cable ties. Unpacking the boom pin board. Unpack the boom pin board. Disassembly of bucket pin. Disassemble the fastening bolts of pin on the bucket. Take out the pin and place the adjustment gasket on clean rubber pad. Before the assembly, remove the dirt from the pane and adjustment gasket and wipe clean. Installation of O-rings on both sides of boom pane board. Start the complete machine and lift the boom to the height of approximately 3.0 meters off the ground. Remove the dirt within the pane board. Add an appropriate amount of lubricating grease into various boards and attach all rings on two sides of the boom pin board. Adjustment of bucket position. Lift the bucket and adjust the position of bucket till the bucket is aligned with the boom connecting pin board. Assembly of pin. Connect the bucket and boom together with pin and adjust the position of adjustment gasket till the assembly gap between the bucket and boom and face is 0.5 to 1.5 mm. Shift the O-rings into the connection gap between the bucket and boom. Installation of O-rings and remove the flexible sling and hoist up the rocker rod. Attach O-rings on two sides of the rock pin board before connecting. Adjust the position of bucket cylinder till the rocker rod is aligned with the bucket connecting pin board. Pay attention to preventing all rings. Reassembly of connecting rod pin. Connect the bucket and connecting rod assembly with one pin and tighten the fastening bolts of pins between bucket and boom and arm. Lubrication of pin. Inject an appropriate amount of lubricating grease into the pin connection with grease gown. Post-assembly inspection. Patrol inspection of assembled portions. Patrol inspect the assembled portions and observe for any item missed for assembly or tightening. Check the water tank level, fuel level, hydraulic oil level, and transmission oil level as per the attached operation and maintenance manual. The tire pressure shall meet the specified requirements. Sample inspection of tightening torque for bolts. Sample some bolts for inspection and measure with torque wrench whether the corresponding tightening torque is met. Action inspection of complete machine. Start a complete machine. Lift the boom and conduct the bucket rotation and retraction operations for three to four times. And listen to the assembled portions of bucket for presence of abnormal noise. Performance checklist of complete machine. Check the parts for good performances as per the checklist of complete machine below.